Friends, pray the Lord. God is our Father who is in heaven. And we say, hallowed be your name and your kingdom come. So we shall continue with our episodes, Finding God. This time we share about somebody who is nameless. Nameless but very important in the scripture. And so before I mention that nameless person who teaches us lessons, let us pray. Father God in heaven, thank you that you give us opportunity all time to share from your word and we pray the Lord you bless our time together in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now friends, the nameless person that I'm talking about falls in the story of Prophet Elisha and this nameless person follows the other one that we talked about, a commander, very respectable man called Naaman. And just want to talk about a little girl whose name is not mentioned, but she plays a very important role. And the reason why it is written about her in scripture. And every time we read a scripture, there are lessons that we pick from there. And because it is scripture, we have to apply to our life. And so that God may do immensely well during our time, because God did well during that time. And this little girl is in Second Kings chapter 5, verses 2 following. But the story is about a great hero in the Syrian army called Naaman. And the Bible says, maybe we shall catch up from verse 1, that now Naaman was a commander of the army of the king of Aram, he was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded because through him the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. And in verse 2, where we find this nameless little girl is that now the bands of the raiders from Aram had gone out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel and she served as Naaman's wife's servant. She said to her mistress, if only my master would see the prophet who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went to his master in verse 4 and told him what the girl had from Israel had said. And so whatever followed is hinging on what the girl had told her mistress, and the mistress was Naaman's wife. Now, the point that we're making here is little girl raided from her homeland, meaning that actually she was in captivity. She had been sold to this man's house, whether sold or taken there, but she was a slave girl in the home, and she was serving there. Now, in her captivity, all the way from home, her parents are not with her, her family, loving family was not with her, and she was there in this man's home, in a far land, in a far area, and so in a foreign land. And so, she comes up, she looks at her master and says, look, if my master would only go, if she would, he would only visit a prophet in Israel, this leprosy would go. Now, this means that this little girl had heard about this prophet. Because remember, we have been talking about Prophet Elisha, a miracle prophet in Israel. Many things had been written about him. Many things had been talked about him. And this little girl might have, been, might have heard about this prophet. And so she becomes an emissary, a messenger of the good news in Amani's house. And so we learn several lessons from this girl. And actually, every time I read about her, I get moved by the way she did her things. Now, in the first place, it was through a raid. And when people come to raid, things don't happen well. They grab you in whichever way they want to grab you. And now she goes is sold to this 
whether sold or taken to this very important family. Now, many times, well, slaves should have been bitter, should have been resentful, should have been whichever person that should be annoyed, angry, bitter, whatever it is. Resentment, full of, I mean, full of resentment. But look at this girl in captivity, in slavery, or these days the language would be house girl, little girl, but she did have any of this. So what she does, she brings good news to her master, her mistress, because she could not reach him. Very important person, but she just went to her mistress and said, if this my master would go. Now, I pick lots from this girl. Not bitter, but she becomes an emissary of the good news. And so will you be an emissary of good news whatever situations that you're in? I have learned that actually I should be an emissary, I mean an agent of good news in situations like this. Sometimes our, you know, our bitterness follows, I mean, the bitterness in our hearts actually enable us not to do good. But the thing is, this girl leaves a lesson to us. Friends, she never forgot her faith in the God she has learned about. When an opportunity arose, she shared her faith. This is actually very, very important for Christian believers like you and me. Sharing your faith. By mentioning the prophet in Israel, this girl was sharing her faith with these people. Maybe they never knew, but she said, there's a prophet in Israel. So we only needed to be observant like this girl was observant. We only needed to take an opportunity the moment it arises. And this girl knew when the opportunity came, she shared her faith. And so even us, we need to be observant and share our faith with those that don't know. And it may not only be the faith, but share the good news. Do you know where to buy something good? Refer somebody. Praise the Lord. Do you know where something good is? Is it a shop? Someone is struggling. I don't know this. Share it. Talk about it. This girl talked about the good where it was. Now, sometimes someone may keep the good to themselves. They may know where to find food. Someone is suffering. They keep quiet about it. Someone may know where to buy a good shirt, but only keeps it a secret to themselves. Could be a good phone, could be a good, something good. But what I'm saying is, I am challenged by this little girl. She never kept the good news to herself alone, but she shared her faith and shared the good with the members of the household, even when she didn't belong there. Now, friends, this is something that I pick very, very important from this girl. Of course, there are so many things that um, I want to outline them very quickly because of the time, but share something good with other people when opportunity arises. So be observant because faith without actions is dead. And so says the letter of James. So let us share our faith. Let us exhibit our faith. Let us act our faith. Wish others good. And I've always pleaded and I always plead Wish some other people good, this girl wished her boss good. And so she knew the power of God and she never kept quiet about it. And so we also needed to share about God's goodness. Or even the good that there could be in the, in the surrounding. When you know that this is good, share it out for the benefit of other people. And other people will praise God because of you, whatever you shared with them. And so this girl never lost her faith. She never cursed the situation in which she was, but she only shared about what God had done for her. And she knew about the prophet, and so she referred. And she also desired the best for others. Like I've already mentioned, wishing others good. She best, she said, if my master could only go to Israel and meet a prophet, see the prophet there, he would be healed of his preprocy. So, this is very, very important. Seek for seek the good for others. 
No mind about the goodness, the welfare of other people. Never bitter. Never revenge. Some people are always vengeful. I pray that God will not... I mean, God will enable me not to be vengeful. This girl in slavery, a slave girl, a house girl, but she, was, she remained good news to her master. She never looked away. She never looked the other side, but she was always on the lookout for the good of the master. So as Christians, this girl is our model. Though not famous, though not mighty. Now, meaning that's why we need to serve God at all times. Serve God in whichever situation. Serve God in whichever circumstance. I am learning that in whatever place, someone said directly, be like a a, a cassava cutting. When you are thrown somewhere and the conditions are favorable for germination, germinate. I pray that God gives us the, you know, the, the, the power, the, the, the energy, the strength to do that. And so it's important as Christians, in whichever circumstances, this girl teaches us a lesson. So never look to, I mean, to certain places for what is not good. Look for set to certain places for what is good for other people. And the solution will come to your challenge, to your challenge, to your challenge, the solution will come from whichever source, but it will come. And I'm believing that God will bring something good for you. Now let me address young people, those that are young, because this was a girl, young. So if you have a child, or you're a child yourself. There's a lesson here from this girl. You know, I get back to think that this girl must have been prepared young enough. Must have been prepared when she was still small. Must have been directed when she was still small. So for her to know that there was a prophet in Israel who could deal with Naaman's challenge, then she had been, actually, she had been groomed well. So those of you who are young, those of us who are young, and those of us who are parents, let us teach our children. When, because anything can happen. You may lose them, they may lose you, but even when they are there without us as parents, I'm actually addressing two categories of people here. I'm trying to addressing those that are young, but also I'm addressing those that are parents. That actually, even when you are not there, they become useful to society. Even when you are not there, Someone benefits from them. So this girl directed when she was still young and she could be able to be useful to other people where she goes. So how I pray for our children that you'll be useful wherever you are. Young as you may be, small as you may be, but be useful. And so knowing God early is good. Some of us actually had an opportunity to know God when we are still small. Our parents enabled us, modeled us. And so if there is anything good that we are able to do out here, credit goes to our parents teaching us. And so to you parents, those that are parents, and even those that are young and are growing up to be parents, help model so that the help will, you know, will multiply. You do something little here, it will multiply even when you are not there. This girl was not at home. Her parents were not there. Her siblings were not there. Her family members were not there. But she became very, very important in the life of Naaman because he had been helped when she was still young. Now, friends, we are called upon to conduct ourselves before any believers in ways that glorify God. Now, this little girl did something great before Naaman his family. And so we ask ourselves, what more do we learn from this girl? For me, she has challenged me already, and may she challenge you. Young as you may be, or old as you may be, or big as you may be, or whoever you are. When this message lands into your ears, this girl shares great things with great people, despite her situation. Now share with an unbelievers the glory of God. Testimony life. Others will be, you know, will hear it and it will impact somebody. The word spoken by this girl reached Naaman, and he moved, went and asked for permission from his master, 
and he, he journeyed to Israel to meet the prophet. So choose, choose to share the good news. Choose to share with somebody. Let them be your enemies, let them be your friends, let them be your colleagues at work, let them be your village mates, let them be your church members, let them be whoever they are. Share with them. So this girl, friends, for me, she gives me a lot of challenge that even where we are not, even where parents are not, may my children be relevant, be important out there. And so we pray for you children. So we pray for you parents that something good will come from your family. Even when you are not there, you'll have a representative. Now this girl was a representative of her family. The good that she spoke, the information that she gave that enabled somebody to be healed. Pray the Lord. I am energized with this information. So may God enable you to do good. May, may God enable you to share good with other people. This girl pointed, and may you be a pointer also. Point somebody to something good, where the good can be found. We are in a generation where people are full of me. They look, everything good may be pointing at them, themselves alone. But listen, that this girl remembered to point Naaman, Naaman to the prophet who was back home in Israel. And so may God change us May God speak to our generation of younger people. May God speak to the generation of parents. And so that what we do now, we may not see, but later on, somehow, somewhere, in whichever circumstances that there can be, this person will be a relevant person. So friends, this little girl pointed in Amman to where he could find his help. Will you also be a pointer to someone to find their help? to find their salvation, to find their life, because this is what it is, and that God used her immensely. And we have had other children in the Bible that were important, that pointed people. You know, Samuel was also a little boy. When you read about her, his birth from his mother, I mean, Hannah, little boy, but she was serving. So little children, go on and serve. This little girl served. Boys and girls, look at David. David, a small boy looking after cattle, looking after sheep, whatever she was, whatever he was. But he was designated for kingship, even when he was still a little boy. Listen to me. There is a way God does easy things. Mysterious way of doing things, and this is one of them. So we have these little people in the Bible, little boys, little girls. God used them mightily. May he use you. May he use you parent. May he use you son. May he use you daughter. And so that you'll be a channel of the good news for other people. This girl was a channel of good news to Naaman's family. And it is spoken about her in the scripture. So what we do now, we may not know. But later, the testimony will be talked about us when we are not there. This little girl, the testimony is here. May it be talked about you when you are not there because of the good that you are doing to somebody. So may God bless you and watch over you, my brother, my sister. And this little girl challenges me. May he challenge you. And so that you, as you live your life, be a pointer to good. Share your faith. Whatever the circumstances, never lose heart. This girl never lost her faith, never lost her heart, but she remained you know, useful in whichever situation. So you to remain faithful in whichever situation that you may find yourself. And may God help us and bless you and bless me. And so that actually something good will be spoken about us when we're not there. Thousands of years this girl has spoken about because of what she did. May God help us and may God bless you and watch over you and keep you. And may he keep me and may he continue supplying the needs of our, desire, our desires according to his riches and glory. May he keep you and keep me in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.